Hello friends, today I list out the best natural ways for your plant pest control and they are really very easy to use and 100% organic pest control methods. The last trick will eliminate more than 80% pests in just one single shot, especially those mealybugs, aphids, spider mites, white flies and many more. All that's coming up. If you are interested in gardening, please subscribe to my channel with the bell icon clicked so that you receive notifications on my new uploads. Well, the main idea of using these methods, at least for me, is this saves me a lot of time and time is really precious my friends. Here is a list of few easy methods I use. These include natural pesticides and other simple methods. On number 7 is grow plants full of health and vigor. Yes. Regularly adding organic composts like vermicompost, decompose cow dung or a horse dung on your top layer of the soil is the best way to develop strong and vigorous plants which can resist or withstand these pest attacks. I also mix organic neem seed meal powder into the soil which combats many pathogens in the soil and also neem cake is a natural fertilizer with many micronutrients in it. Then on number 6 is keeping pest repelling plants in your garden. This is in fact an easy way of keeping many pests away including mosquitoes. You have to do this strategically like placing these insect repelling plants near entrances and also interspersed between your other plants which are more prone to pest attacks. There is a long list of such plants. I have listed out these names in these slides on the screen. This is taken from Wikipedia website. You can freeze the video and make a note of this if you are interested. Now on the fifth important step that is trimming or pruning the affected leaves or branches. This step is really important because it has two benefits. This will reduce the load of pests to be eliminated by a pesticide and also offers the benefits of pruning a plant that is giving out more branching. Now the fourth step is hand pick and eliminate. This is actually the best method to eliminate certain worms and insects like the caterpillars, slugs and snails and other leaf-eating worms. Then on number 3 is the neem oil spray. This is by far the most widely accepted natural pesticide spray worldwide. When you have a lot of pests, spray your plants thoroughly once weekly or at least once in 15 days. Then a maintenance or a prophylactic dose of once in a month if you have no pests in your garden. The formula is simple. Add 5 ml pure neem oil in 1 liter of water plus add some 10 drops of liquid soap for the surfactant effect and to coat the leaves. Always do a patch test on a leaf or even a branch and then spray the whole garden if there is no damage. Then on number 2 is my cocktail organic pest spray. If your plant pest load is too high Consider using a mixture of multiple natural oils and other stuff to make a cocktail pesticide spray. I have discussed this recipe in detail in my video titled Universal Pesticide Recipe. You can check that later from a link at top right corner of this video. What I use is a mixture of clove oil, neem oil and optionally eucalyptus oil and then liquid soap. This is really a powerful organic pesticide solution. And again, always do a patch test on a leaf to check the result before applying to the entire plant or your entire garden. And now coming to the best method of pest control which can eliminate more than 80% of pests in one single shot. When we see these pests damaging our beloved plants, I'm sure we all feel like burning them to death. But we are helpless, we cannot burn our plants. You can only burn the cut out branches and leaves loaded with pests which is in fact the best way to prevent contamination to other plants. Incineration or burning is one of the best sterilization methods. So the only best way is to either kill them on the plants without damaging our plants or somehow dissociate them from our plants. Yes, this method is to separate these pests from our plants. I'll demonstrate you how powerful this method is so keep watching. Yes, I am talking about the high pressure water spray in misting mode using your uh, garden spray gun with the correct pressure. I will reveal you everything now. How I experimented many methods to finally settle on this method and also the other benefits of this method. First of all, 
there is absolutely no water pressure on your terrace garden because overhead tanks are sitting on the terrace or just slightly above it. I am sure all of you agree with me on this point. Most of us must be using the bottle spray to pump or spray the pesticides which is a manual method to spray with very little pressure and takes a lot of effort and time and energy. Especially if you have too many plants. To overcome this, first I started with a rechargeable battery operated 16 litre spray can. This was actually a good option with good pressure and other benefits like portability and things like that. But I wanted to connect my multi-mode spray gun with something like a multi-purpose gadget where I can uh, use my coiled hose with this multi-mode uh, spray gun to do all tasks including watering the plants and also spraying pesticides and do all in one activity. And so I connected my hose to this double barreled self priming 12 volt DC pump which is actually available online as a car wash pump. I have given the link to this product from the card link that top right corner of this video and also in the description. I am not promoting this product. You can buy any similar pump and connect according to your plan and requirement. And also please suggest more ideas in the comment section if uh, yeah, so that everyone is benefited. As you can see, I am spraying this in pressure mist mode on this plant loaded with full of mealy bugs. See the pressure and with the pressure of fine misting, any pest will definitely dissociate from the plant even including the underside of the leaves. After washing, you can then spray your regular pesticide. For me, this is looking perfect so far with the desired pressure and options to use it as a watering equipment, pest spraying, misting my plants and also misting or watering my seedlings and do a lot of stuff like that. It really saves me a lot of time. 